today. So today, I'm just feeling the wiggles. What do you mean, Roman? You always have the wiggles. No, but today, the wiggles are wiggly. I have an idea. Let's sing a song. Ooh, I got the wiggles. How about you? Man, I got them too. I'm just a wormy squirmy. Ooh. Why don't we get some people to help us out? Or I like that idea. Who's got those wiggle wiggles? I got those wiggle wiggles. Who's got those wiggle wiggles? I got those wiggle wiggles. If you got those wiggle wiggles, come on, get your wiggles out. Wiggles, get your wiggles out. Everybody shake and shout. Let's wiggle. Get your wiggles out. Dancing all the round now. Come on, wiggles. Get your wiggles out. Everybody shake and shout. Let's wiggle. Just listening to some music. That last song was my jam. <laughs> the way you were moving, it must be a good song. I like moving to music too. In today's Bible story, God's people were in Babylon and a new rule said that when people heard music, they had to fall to their knees and worship. That's cool. I like worshiping God with music. Yeah, except the rules said they must worship a gold statue, not God. Aw, oh, no, that's not cool. Let me tell you the story from the Bible. Nebuchadnezzar was the king of Babylon. He did not love God. One day, King Nebuchadnezzar made a tall statue out of gold. Then, one of the king's officials gave a new rule to all the people. He said, when you hear the sound of music, fall to your knees and worship this gold statue. Anyone who does not obey this new rule will be thrown into a very hot fire. When music played, everyone in Babylon fell to their knees and worshiped the gold statue. Well, almost everyone. Three men from Judah did not fall to their knees and worship the statue. They worshiped God, and they knew God did not want them to worship anyone or anything else. These men were Daniel's friends. Their names were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Some of the people in Babylon went to the king. These men do not obey you, they said. They do not bow down to the statue. The king was angry. He called for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and said, If you do not fall to your knees and worship this statue, I will throw you into a very hot fire. The three friends said, King, 
We worship God. He can save us from the fire. But even if he does not save us, we will not worship the gold statue. Now the king was very mad. He told his workers to make the fire even hotter. The soldiers in the king's army tied up the three friends and threw them into the fire. The fire was so hot that the soldiers died when they got close. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego fell into the fire, all tied up. All of a sudden, the king stood up and said, Didn't we throw three men into the fire? Yes, king, his helpers said. Look, the king shouted. I see four men walking around in the fire. They aren't hurt or tied up. The fourth man looks like an angel. The king said, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, come here. The friends came out of the fire. They were not burned. They had not even been hurt at all. God was with them and had saved them from the fire. The king praised God. He said, God sent an angel to save these men. They trusted in God and he saved them. So the king made a new rule for all the people. Anyone who says anything bad about God will be punished. Only God can save people from death. Then the king gave Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego important jobs in Babylon. God saved Daniel's friends from a fire. Jesus came to save us in an even better way. Jesus died so we wouldn't be punished for our sin. He was punished instead. When we know and love Jesus, Jesus saves us so we can be with God forever. Because of our sins, we needed someone to come rescue us. Jesus came to save us. God sent Jesus to take the punishment for our sins. Jesus saved us, so let's, let's sing about it! it.
Shut up, me, Jack, and the Pentagon. Shut up, me, Jack, and the Pentagon. Shut up, me, Jack, and the Pentagon.